Hi everybody, welcome back to Bentley House. I'm Aira, happy 2019, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a book that I've created, this book right here. I actually introduced it on a live stream, but I haven't actually officially talked about it on my channel. This is a book I made out of cardboard and paper, and inside of it I wrote 95 different prompts that I thought I could make miniatures from. I did order a drawing prompt book or an art prompt book, but I felt like not all the prompts would be something easily done in miniature, so I ended up making my own. I'm really excited about this project because I think it's something that could involve you guys too. As I make each prompt, I'm going to make a video for it, and if you want to make something off of that prompt, you can tag me on Instagram or Facebook, and then you can see your miniatures in my videos. So since this is prompt one, I actually did this in a live stream, so I'm going to show you that footage and do a quick voiceover of what I did. Of course, if you want to see it in more detail, you can go check out the live stream. I will put the link in the description below. I already have one person who's participated. At the end of this video, I will be showing her take on vintage but if you want to still work on prompt number one vintage you still have time to turn it in because I won't be showing the rest of those until the end of video over prompt number two so I hope you enjoy this quick overview of what we did in the live stream and here we go what you're going to see now is footage from my live stream. I started by opening the book and letting the people in my live stream choose from the two prompts that I could see on the page. Then we discussed ideas and came up with vintage toys, and then I sketched several vintage toys that we had talked about and let people vote, and we came up with the vintage slinky dog. To create this toy, I started by pulling a spring out of a ballpoint pen I had near my desk, and I got out my Sculpey 3 polymer clay. I mixed the colors together to match the colors of the body and the muzzle of the dog that I found in my image that I put up in the corner. I bent the spring to give the appearance of gravity because in real life the slinky part of the dog would probably dip down to touch the floor, and then I cut the spring slightly shorter. I made a pill shape from the body color polymer clay and then chopped it in half. I added each half to either side of the spring. Next, I rolled a sphere from the same body color and I added to it the dog's muzzle. The muzzle is made of a thin slice of red clay sandwiched between two thin slices of the muzzle color, so the lighter color that I mixed. I cut the ear shapes from black clay and attached it to either side of the dog's head. I then added a very small bead of black on the tip of the muzzle to create the dog's nose. I also made very, very thin snakes of black clay, and I use these to estimate where the eyebrows will go. Eventually I will paint the eyes on, so right now I'm just guessing where their location will be. After all that, I wanted to save my work, so I made sure to bake it according to package instructions. While that's in the oven, I'm going to make four small rectangles of the muzzle colored clay or the lighter colored clay. I'm going to push into one side of the rectangles to create toe shapes. I'm going to do this for each rectangle. This is what's going to create the feet. To make the legs, I made a long snake of the body colored clay. I cut the snake into lengths that looked correct for the legs. To attach the leg to the foot, I just add a dab of liquid clay on the top of each foot and then place the leg piece on top vertically. Now I'm going to bake these pieces as well. Once the dog body has cooled, I'm going to use white acrylic paint to paint the whites of the eyes. Then I'm going to use a dotting tool and black acrylic paint to create the dog's pupils. The next step is going to be to attach the baked legs once they come out of the oven. I took a small amount of foil and pinched it around the spring to keep the dog's body upright on the baking tray. I used a very small piece of cut clay from the previous body colored clay that I made into a snake to make shoulder pieces. They are attached to the main body with liquid clay. Then I added a small amount of liquid clay to the bottom of the shoulder pieces where I will attach the top of the legs. I followed the same steps for the back legs. 
Off camera and after the stream, I added a little ball of red clay on a thin wire and glued it to his rear end for the tail. And that's it. If you would like to add a string as it is shown on the box, uh, just take a red string and glue it in the middle of his forehead between his eyes, as strange as that sounds. As promised, I wanted to make sure to highlight this miniature made by Pandora Romanov. Uh, make sure you go check out her Instagram account. She made this really amazing chalkboard with the miniature eraser that you can see on the floor and the mini pieces of chalk. I really, really love this miniature, how it turned out, and thank you so much for being my first participant in my miniature prompts. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the quick overview of prompt number one. I hope you'll join in. I don't make any promises of when the next prompt video will come out, so make sure if you make something that you get it to me quickly so that you are in time for the next video. Again, all the links are in the description below if you're not sure how to contact me, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys create. I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Hi everybody. I'm Edward Diane. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is 2019. I'm so excited to be here. This is like the third time I've done this. I'm going to show you. This is great. We should do this every time. I'm going to show you a book today that I put together. It has 95 prompts in it because that's all the pages that it has. I made this book out of cereal boxes and paper. <laughs> I'm going to make you leave. And now you're closing. What's your words for this? Wanna fight? You'll win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true.